McDonald's is one of the most ambitiously marketed fast food chains of all time. From the thousands of different Happy Meal toys, the many different creepy mascots, the cursed play places, the uniquely branded theming and architecture style, and the almost 70 years of history to becoming the most recognizable fast food brand in the world, McDonald's has achieved a genuinely extensive culture, or lore if you will. When a restaurant chain becomes so huge that there's over 38,000 locations around the world, it's a given that some of them are gonna be a bit weird. There's a Twitter account known as non-standard McDonald's that's been dedicated to documenting these Mick anomalies for the past two years. Today, we'll be taking a look at the most peculiar and out of this world McDonald's restaurants, from cursed to blessed to maybe a bit of both. As we go through these, we'll also be adding them to the Mick chart. By the way, this Mick video is not endorsing or praising McDonald's in particular as it is just made for entertainment purposes. Okay, let's begin. First, let's take a look at what a normal McDonald's restaurant looks like. To figure out what the most normal designs were, I went on Google Earth, zoomed into random locations, and searched for the nearest McDonald's. What I found is that there's quite a few different standardized designs around the world. One of the most common designs I found is this one with a yellow arch above the roof. There's also this roof design that could come in different colors with a pretty common green roofed version. There's a pretty boring blocky modern design with a cool big red rectangle, then an even more boring modern design with some of the better ones having a red roof. And finally I saw this red brick design a few times. Many of the default McDonald's can also have a play place either located inside or outside. POV you're stuck in a McDonald's play place. Other than that, everything else is restaurants located inside a store slash mall. All of these normal locations will be placed at the Mick entrance. Getting a little funkier, we have the Mick City. The locations in this zone are a product of many cities around the world having strict architectural rules that buildings need to follow or they were old buildings transformed into a McDonald's later on. There's a fancy Italian McDonald's located inside a famous mall in Italy that was built in 1877. There's a Dutch styled McDonald's built in an Iowa city known for having Dutch architecture. There's also a McDonald's in Pennsylvania with a very Victorian styled interior and decor. In the city of Independence, Ohio, there's strict colonial American architectural rules resulting in this very interesting McDonald's restaurant. This building is known as the Denton House McDonald's as the original building was a farmhouse built in 1795, which is over 200 years ago. The fact that this historic house is now just a McDonald's restaurant is kind of absurd. This one is known as the Art Deco McDonald's. It was originally built as a hotel in 1937 and when it was later turned into a McDonald's, they kept the peculiar architecture. The overpass McDonald's is literally a bridge over a highway turned into a restaurant, and this McDonald's in Brazil is a very peculiar play on the city's strict architectural rules. They found some loopholes and made the building look a little more whimsical than the rest by tilting around the windows and more. In the depths of a nearby McJungle, we have the Dallas Zoo McDonald's, a beautiful restaurant filled with various zoo animal sculptures and a play place. Next we have the Portugal Crocodile McDonald's. This McDonald's is directly next to an actual crocodile enclosure at a zoo, so you could watch the funny reptiles scrungle around while you eat your bunger. At the peak of the McJungle sits the legendary Ronnie McRibbit. This is basically just a normal McDonald's restaurant, but it has a funny frog at the front, so it's kind of cool. There's also a normal McDonald's with two big McDinosaurs at the front. Going even further into the mountains, you reach the mysterious snowy McMountain. And at the top there lies the elusive McSki, a cozy McDonald's restaurant that has a ski-through instead of a drive-through. Going even higher than the peak of the McMountains, we enter the McSky and witness the legendary airplane McDonald's. This one is really cool because you could actually eat inside of the plane. Above the mixed sky, if we once more go even higher, you finally reach mixed space. There's the McNASA space shuttle restaurant that has an outdoor spaceship play place. The astronaut McDonald's has a giant astronaut statue and a play place that's called Play Space instead. The Burger Invasion McDonald's is inside a California Adventure theme park and has lots of cool alien theming. The legendary UFO McDonald's is a building that used to be a Megatron themed restaurant in the 90s but was re made into a McDonald's later on. I'm also gonna put this weird aluminum McDonald's in the mixed space area because its architecture kind of looks like a spaceship, not gonna lie. Descending back down onto planet McEarth, then going deep into the McOcean, there's the incredible underwater-themed McDonald's. This restaurant has some of the best theming I've ever seen. Fully painted walls, floating sculptures, and many projectors displaying underwater videos on the walls for immersion. There's also a play place and many TV screens. To help us get around the mix chart, we're gonna install a mix train station. This is the Barstow Station McDonald's restaurant. It was originally meant to be a train themed shopping center but was then converted into a train themed McDonald's with many train cars actually being used as functional dining areas. We also need a hotel for people to stay at as they enjoy the lands of the mixed chart. The Golden Arch Hotel is a pretty undocumented building that was around in the very early 2000s in Switzerland. It had actual McDonald's themed hotel rooms and obviously a McDonald's restaurant inside the building to eat at. The fact that this hotel actually existed is genuinely absurd. Here in the mixed chart we
we don't discriminate our visitors based on their size. That's why if you zoom in really closely, you can see the many McHives. Going bigger instead of smaller, there's many McDonald's with giant object theming located in McGiant Land. There's a McDonald's building that's just a giant Happy Meal box, a McDonald's with giant soda and fries on the outside. There's also the Big Mac Museum McDonald's, which has a giant Big Mac statue. This McDonald's in Brazil is one of my personal favorites as it has a giant Happy Meal milkshake and fries at the front and beautiful architecture. On the inside, there's a literal burger chandelier and a McDonald's M swing set on the outside. And that's not even all. There's a McDonald's themed Airbnb trailer that you can stay at overnight nearby. At the nearby Mick Amusement Park, we have some really fun McDonald's restaurants. This McDonald's at a Disneyland in Paris has incredible architecture and giant arches at the front. The Count's Cauldron McDonald's was located at the Chessington World of Adventure Park in the UK and has cool vampire theming. There is also a roller coaster that passed over the entrance. The Epic McDonald's is known as one of the coolest McDonald's locations to ever be built. It opened in 1976 in Florida. The outside of the building was covered in colors and giant french fries. The inside was filled to the brim with theming and decorations and had a huge functioning arcade with tons of different games to play. The dining area also had a stage that frequently held live entertainment. There's even a second floor with even more arcade games and a massive play place. Sadly, this building was renovated in 2016 for a more modern design. And while it's still the biggest McDonald's restaurant, the charm of the original was lost. And now, beyond the McPoint of No Return, we enter the Haunted McForest. This area is abandoned and off limits due to the terrifying cryptids that roam the lands. This McDonald's in Alabama has a statue of one of the mythical creatures. This creature is an evolved version of the bull weevil insect infused with McDonald's DNA. The next cryptid is known as the Tree Ronald. One day, one of the trees in front of this restaurant grew into the shape of Ronald McDonald instead of a full tree. Soon after, many calamities befell the nearby restaurant, such as the ice cream machines breaking down even more than they used to and night shift employees suddenly disappearing while taking out the trash. Going back into mixed space, there exists a mysterious wormhole to an alternate reality. Within this portal, you can witness many McDonald's that exist in different realities where the details are slightly different. In this reality, the McDonald's logo is a singular arch instead of two. In this one, all of the seats are just replaced with saddles. There's also many realities where letters in the name are switched around, such as Wickdonald's, Eckdonald's, Modonald's, and Wackdonald's. In the final alternate reality, on the planet of Nern, in the land of Tamriel, deep into the province of Morrowind, there exists a singular McDonald's restaurant. And now, when we keep going further and further into interstellar mix space, we pass by mix stars, then mix galaxies, and then we reach the edge of the mix universe. These are the furthest places the influence of McDonald's has spread to. In fact, they are so far away that they have never been seen by human eyes, so we need to use AI generation to get visuals of these locations. On a rocky planet similar to our moon, a McDonald's sign lights up the sky. As you can see here, it says McDonald's twice on the sign, once in English and once in the local alien civilization's language. On a planet on the brink of collapse, there's a McDonald's labeled as McEnd. And finally, there's an abandoned planet with an old McDonald's play place labeled as McDecals. I know the Mick chart is finally complete. Thank you for watching this Mick video. Remember to Mick like or Mick subscribe or support me in other ways if you really want to. You can also download the full quality image of this in the description or buy it as a poster. Okay, bye!